it's Corey. In this video, I want to show you how to create a new pattern using the new AutoFit multi-pattern feature in the Autopilot Moxery update. So I want to create a new point-to-point -point, uh, diamond pattern to be used in a background for an eight-pointed star. And I have this really cool uh, P2P fun triangle that comes with the software. And then I drew a straight uh, geometric line right here to be used, and you'll see why here momentarily. But I want to get that pattern in here to create a new point-to-point -point design, and I'm going to do that with multi-pattern autofit. So first things first with this is I'm going to hop into autofit, and I'm going to have my pattern selected, and then I can come down and choose my little line. Now, the reason why I'm having two patterns, I'm sure that's your first question, is why do you need two to create this design? Well, let's have actually a single pattern auto fit, and let's see how this would look. So if I click from left to right, that's going to place in that first pattern, which is really nice, but I have to fill in the bottom side too, so I could come back to the left and click that in. Now, if I went ahead and clicked on Accept, back to Transform, and then kind of shrunk this down so you could see it, the start and end of this pattern is on the left-hand side. That's not a valid point-to-point -point in order for us to work with it um, in the auto fit section. It creates a beautiful block, but it doesn't create a continuously stitching block for background quilting, um, for any type of quilting um, in auto fit. So I'm going to delete this out. I'll bring that piece back over and hop into AutoFit. We'll choose multi-pattern. I will choose this design and the line design. So both of them are listed. I will choose the begin auto fit and I'll start on the left hand side of my block. So I'm going to click here, then here. Once that first pattern is placed, you'll notice that the asterisk has jumped down to the next pattern because it's the next pattern in the sequence. However, we want to do another copy of the P2P Fun 6A pattern down here before we have that final line that cuts through to keep it stitching continuously. So on my setup screen on the right hand side, I'm going to click on Next, and then I'll come back to my screen, click on the left portion again right here, That'll drop that in. Now you can see the little asterisk has moved back to geometric line, which is great. So we'll come over here to the right. We'll click that in. We'll click on Accept and back to Stretchy Man. And what we've done now is we have created a new design, a new point-to-point -point design, because it starts on the left, ends on the right, and the start and ends are on the same x-axis. If you want to double check and kind of see how it's going to stitch out prior to saving it, you could hop into your sew options down here at the bottom. You could click on sewing preview and choose start. And you'll see that it's going to stitch those two pieces and then do the line right through, showing us that we have a beautiful new point-to-point -point design to be used. 